Hi, Pottery Peeps. Welcome to my basement. Um, doing pretty good. I am two weeks and two days out of um, surgery for the rotator cuff. Uh, it was quite a mess when they got in there, apparently. I just got my stitches out on Wednesday. Um, what actually is the most bothersome thing is they had to reconnect the bicep and they actually stitched it like right here in the where the armpit starts and so that's what's bothering me the most anyway um i thought i would get on here give you an update because i get a lot of you that are messaging me and asking me how i'm doing which i really really appreciate but i'm not so good about getting on social media when <laughs> i'm either on drugs or not feeling up to it or just plain frustrated because I'm stuck in this massive thing that I've got to wear 24 seven and it's hot. Uh, so the more stuff that I do or try to do, um, basically everything I do is one handed. Um, but I was able to do these kind of one handed and I got a lot of you asking me how I'm finishing these off. So this will be just a short video because it's pretty much what I can do. I do have some other videos coming out um, that will, you're just going to have to go from past to present, past to present with me for the next little while. I get to start PT again <laughs> next Wednesday, which I'm actually really excited about because then I actually get to take this thing off and I'm beginning to hate this thing. And I have another, did I already say that? Probably already did. Another four weeks in this. I've already had two weeks in it, um, so another solid four weeks. In the middle of summer, when it's 100 degrees, that's why I'm in my basement, which is um, a good, good 10, 15 degrees cooler than upstairs. <laughs> so I've actually been sleeping down here in a recliner, and it's actually really comfortable down here. I've never spent this much time down here because this was always the kid hangout. So anyway, or I have, it's. It's a full apartment down here, basically. Uh, so the kids keep moving in, saving up money, buying a house, moving out. And my son and daughter-in-law, who are expecting a baby this fall, just recently moved out, I think the week before I had surgery. And so we got the basement set up for me, which has worked out pretty good. Okay, what I'm using. I In the video where I showed you how I made these little guys for these bottle toppers, um, here's one in the bottle. Aren't they cute? They're just so cute. What a great hostess gift, you know, um, with the holidays and everything coming up, you know, especially, you know, wine drinkers or whatever. These are actually, I'm a big fan of club soda and this is a great club soda. Um, and the bottles are pretty and I have plans for the bottles, but little mushroom, I just think they're so fun, the little fairy house. And I think Mickey did um, a kiln unloading that will be coming up, so you might get to see this twice. <laughs> but in the video that I showed you how to make these, I think I said E6600, it's not. It's E6000 is the epoxy that I use. And it just works out really great to do this for ceramic it's the best glue for ceramic and i got a, a carton tray and um basically set them all down in egg cartons i've got some tape here and I'm just going to show you how i'm going to glue them up so let's see if i can't move this just a little closer i do have some paper towels here just in case the glue gets away from me and i actually need to buy some more of these i don't have enough for all the stuff i made so I think I'm going to, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five left to do. So let's do these guys because I might save, this one turned out so stinking cute. I might save that for a little potted house, potted thing. But I am going to order some more of these and I'll put a link. Um, I get them off Amazon, but I'll put a link to where I get them. What I usually do, I usually just, and this glue is actually thick. So 
Let's see if I can actually do this. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things when you get it started, then it just doesn't like to stop. So do have some paper towels. Kind of, it's, it's an epoxy glue. And you might need to have a vent. If you're going to do a lot of these, it might be a good idea to have your space ventilated. But I'm just putting on some glue. I don't need a ton. Let's do the witch hat. And then I just set it on there. And if I get extra glue, like I did, whoops, sorry. If I get extra glue, I let it dry. I can come back with a razor blade and cut, cut the glue. Sorry, I can't get this arm up there. I can cut the glue and then just peel it off. But yeah, so that looks good. So then, and what I actually do too, this one probably won't need it, but I'm still going to tape it in place. And I let them cure overnight. Make sure that um, you don't move your move it too much when you put the tape on because it still slides on there. So we'll just set that there. <laughs> I've used this tape before. Okay, that looks like it'll be good enough. Then I just go about doing my next one. You don't need a ton. A dollop. Just a dollop. Let's do this guy. And I do like to center that on upside down. You could probably maybe even... No. I want them to... Um, Cure straight up and down. So this one will be a little easier. And then I just put it back. And that's all there is to it. And then you end up with something like this. This one actually probably had some extra glue. Um, but I didn't bother to cut it because it wasn't messy extra glue. And then it just goes right into your bottle. Okay, I told you it was going to be short and sweet. <laughs> That's going to be it for me right now. Um, but doing good. Thanks for all your well wishes. And hopefully I'll be back in the studio soon. But it'll be at least a month before I'm cleared to at least take this thing off. That's what I'm hoping to lose really fast is this thing because it is not pleasant. Anyway, hope you're doing good. Um, hope you can go get muddy and hope um, this helped a lot of the questions I was getting on how I was going to finish them off. And um, I will also put in the comments um, the E6000. I get mine at like Joann's or Hobby Lobby or actually I think you can get it at Walmart too. So I know you can get it at Amazon. If I find a link on Amazon, I'll go ahead and um, put that in here too. But they just turned out so stinking cute. Look at those cute little gnomes. I don't remember which gnome I showed um, in the video. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, for glazes, this is Glacier by Spectrum. It's a floating glazes that I'm in love with and cactus. And I did glaze the bottom and put it on stilts. And I used um, cherry blossom um, from Amico, sorry. <laughs> and then I did uh, pearl white from Spectrum. So mostly Spectrum glazes. I'm, I'm a huge fan of what they do. They move and they look different and so forth. This one was done exactly the same, but I used holly green by Spectrum. And then I used Ruby Slippers. Nope. Did I use? Nope. I think that is Fire Brick by Amico. I like, yeah, because this is Ruby Slippers uh, Stroke and Coat. And I like that really intense red 
that fire brick gives. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. I hope that those of you that are making these little miniatures and wanted to make the bottle toppers, um, this is helpful um, to see how I finish them up. And I hope you can go get muddy and we'll catch you. You'll get past Tiffany in the next one or you're going to get a kiln opening by Mickey. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, we will catch you in the next one. Thank you.